Hey everybody, it's Dave with Android Police and we're taking a look at the Yoda phone. And if you haven't heard of this, uh, you probably should because, uh, so you've got a phone with a display on the front and there's an e-ink display on the back. I mean, that's the basic gist, but it does go further than that. So you're probably thinking, well, why do I want two screens? You know, if I have a screen on the back, well, I already have one on the front, what's the purpose? Um, even for just reading, that doesn't seem like maybe necessary. But actually, what they've done here is, is, is really pretty cool. I, I'm really impressed with this so far. So, just to start with, uh, you know, something that's not even related to two screens, you can see there are no navigation buttons on this phone. There's actually just a area here where you can gesture. So, swiping all the way across goes home, swiping halfway goes back, and long pressing opens multitasking. And actually, once you start using it, it's pretty intuitive, I have to say. Uh, but what you're obviously probably interested in is the e-ink part of the equation here. So, uh, as you can see on the back, you've already got a, uh, and this is just a kind of a stock weather widget. And to put that on there, you just open up the weather app and you'd hit the send to e-ink display button on the top right there. And pretty simple. Uh, what else it can do though, so if you were to open Google Maps for example, you can see we're actively located. If you pull down with both fingers, it makes a screenshot and then on the back it displays the screenshot so that you have an e-ink map in this case uh, that's constantly there and that will remain there even if the battery's dead as far as I'm aware uh, which is really pretty handy and obviously you can use it for reading and other things what's really got me excited about this personally is uh, the possibilities with notifications uh, the good guys at Yodaphone here have showed us what they have envisioned in terms of uh, showing notifications on the back display but just imagine being able to pull out your phone and looking in the back and seeing your emails your Twitter interactions and your Facebook notifications all sitting there and you don't have to turn on the display. That really is pretty cool. Now the back of the display does a few other things. There's also a gesture mode, so I just uh, did the gesture for back, which goes to the previously displayed item. If you hold down, it goes to all of the items and you can kind of scroll through them and go back to whichever one you want. So that's, uh, that's most of what that does, I think. Uh, but if we go back to the front here, uh, it's running Android 4.1.1. Both displays are 4.3 inches in size. And the back, it looks, it's matte, uh, as you can see. Let me put an image on there. Uh, but it's actually Gorilla Glass. It's a, uh, I guess, custom-made piece of Gorilla Glass that's curved. Uh, if you can look at the curve of the display here, which actually looks pretty cool. And the matte finish makes it feel a little more durable, and uh, so it's not glossy and uh, looking and very easy to see, obviously, in direct sunlight, even. Uh, so that's the Yoda phone, and uh, we're really uh, actually pretty impressed with what we saw here today.